Hi, today we're taking a look at the Pixel 7a camera. And this is the Google camera app where it all starts. You can hit the shutter button to take a photo. And here on the side you have the zoom control, so the 0.5x or the 2 times digital zoom. And when you tap it, you can adjust here the temperature. And here you can adjust the shadows and the brightness. If you want to reset it, you can hit here. Okay, so we can take a picture with the white balance very cold. Or very warm. Or something uh, in between. So if we, for example, want the background to stand out a bit more, we can adjust the shadows. Or if we want the background darker, we can slide it down and then take a photo. If you swipe to the right, you can see here settings for night sight, the top shot, which is when it will capture before and after you shot the image. So when we take a look at this and then we swipe up, here you can see that this is the point where we took the photo, but we can go back and select another photo and save a copy of it. We can also set a timer or automatically set the night sight on or off or the flash and select the aspect ratio from 16 by 9 to 4 by 3 and the 4 by 3 is the full sensor. You can also go to the portrait mode which will zoom in a bit and it won't be available on the ultra wide. So when you get a subject in the front, you can see after processing it will have the portrait mode. And with the portrait mode you can also tap and adjust the white balance, exposure and shadows. There's also the long exposure mode, which is fun if you have something that is moving. So let's get closer to the wa water fountain. And let's take a picture. And as you can see, the water looks a lot smoother, which gives a nicer result. And there's also night sight, so if it is really dark in some places, then it will capture better images. So for example, when I go in here, it looks really dark. So when I take a picture in the normal mode, and I turn off the night sight, versus when I go to night sight, you can definitely see a bit of a difference. It is definitely a lot better. If you want to take a video, we can go to video. And if you swipe to the right again, you can have options. You have speech enhancement that you can turn off or on. And you can also adjust the resolution and frame rate. And it can go up to 4K at 60 FPS. But 4K 60 is only supported on the normal camera, not on the ultra wide. As you can see, you can get a two times digital crop. The 7A doesn't have a telephoto lens. Or you can switch to 4K30 and then you do get the option for the ultra wide. And if you want to get the option for 1080, you can also go to 30 or 60. And in 60 FPS in 1080, the ultra wide is available. So let's shoot a quick video sample. This is how it looks with the stabilization turned on. At the 0.5x 1080p60. Now let's switch to 4K at 60 FPS. So here you can see 4K60. Let's switch to 4K30. So this is how it looks in 4K30 FPS. You can also go to the ultra wide here, which looks a lot better than the 1080p60 and the digital zoom as well.
There are also some stabilization modes, for example the locked mode. When you use the locked mode, it will lock itself in place, even when you move to the left or to the right. So right now I'm moving left and right, but staying in the same position. Now I'm moving up and down, and you can see it's trying to keep the same position. We also have active, which is if you have a lot of movement in your shop. So let's do a run test with the active. Well, you can see it's uh, definitely stable, but it's locked at 1080p and no option for 4K. And here you can switch also to cinematic pan, which will give you a two times slow motion and uh, a lot of video stabilization. So for example, if I move around the subject, this is the result. And cinematic pan is available in 4K or 1080p, and 1080p works with the ultra wide. Now if we switch back to standard mode, you can get a slow motion feature. So if you want to hit slow motion, you can, you can get one fourth or one eighth speed. When I tap this one, it will go extra slow. So where was the sample? And if we want to take a time lapse, we can also select the time lapse one. We choose between these different settings. So let's do a quick time lapse. Time lapse is also available in 4K. And as you can see, also the ultra wide is available at 4K for the time lapse. But in the slow motion, you can't use the ultra wide and you can't use the 4K. Let's do a comparison with the zoom cameras. So right now I'm switching to 0.5. Now I'm going to one time. Two times, digital. Four and a half times, digital. And eight times. When you tap, it will track to focus. And if you want to lock your exposure, you can always press and hold. And it will lock the exposure and also the focus. Now you can make it brighter or darker or do whatever you want. And you can see in the video mode, you can only adjust the brightness and the temperature. There's no way to adjust the shadows. When we go to modes, you can see panorama, lens and photo sphere. So let's take a panorama. And you can record audio, so let's do that. We can also switch back to modes, and here is the Photosphere option. You can take with Photosphere a 360 degree image, so let's do that right now. We need to keep it in the circle, and this might take a few minutes. So we just need to follow the dots, and then it will automatically take a picture. And there's no way to change the exposure. If you aren't happy with an image, you can always hit the undo button, and then take it again. And once you're finished, it will stitch them together to a 360 image. So let's see what it looks like. And there are also some other options. So for example, we can do also a normal horizontal panorama. Or we can also take a wide angle or a vertical.
So the, for example, this one will give you an ultra high field of view. This was the video about the Pixel 7a camera. If you have any other questions, let me know in the comments.